The Anacostia River runs about eight and a half miles from Prince George's County in Maryland right through the heart of Washington, D.C. It is the central artery of a thriving watershed that covers roughly 176 square miles. The river has the potential to support a wide variety of plants, fish, and other wildlife. Bald eagles, great blue herons, ospreys, and other native birds nest in and around the shores of the Anacostia. It is a scenic river that runs through some of the area's most urban neighborhoods. Not long ago, the river was a clean and idyllic setting where people once fished, swam, and recreated. The Anacostia River could be a great place for all to enjoy. But years of pollution runoff, sewage overflows, and sediment deposit have changed this river into one of America's dirtiest waterways. After heavy rains, sediment runoff into the river turns the water a dark, murky brown. Anacostia River Keeper Brian Van Wy takes school kids on tours of the river, where he performs what's called a Secchi Disc Test. This test is designed to measure how deep a person can see into the water. A round, 8-inch black and white disc is attached to a line and lowered into the water until it is no longer visible. He'll perform this test in the Anacostia River and then move just a few hundred yards away to the Potomac River to show the difference in water clarity. still see it a little bit. Just disappearing right there. You sometimes sort of play with it a little bit, bring it up and down, and see where it's actually disappearing. Then you just want to mark it at the water level, pull it back up. Then you just sort of clip your, your spot where. about 19 inches. Obviously if you're in shadow, the light's not going to be going down there. It's pretty cloudy today, so I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. Measurements are taken on both the port and starboard sides of the boat at each location. I think it's pretty much out of view right there. You guys think? You see it? Now you can see it, right? It's just out of view there, I think. There's a little bit of a wave here, so it's a little hard to get a good mark. There. The Secchi disc disappeared from view along the port side of the boat after being submerged only 21 and a half inches into the Anacostia River. After 19 inches, it disappeared on the starboard side. tied to the end of the Secchi disc in order to prevent it from flowing along with the heavy Potomac River current. Just a few hundred yards away at the confluence of the Potomac and Anacostia rivers, there was a noticeable difference in water clarity. Visibility on the Potomac was almost twice that of what we had just measured in the Anacostia. But Secchi disc tests are not the only measure of the impairments that sediments cause in the Anacostia River. The effects of sediment pollution on the Anacostia are also reflected in the way that local residents and children describe their neighborhood river. So we had 41 and 39 and these days we bring kids out for tours of the river on the boat and one of the first thing we ask is, you know, what do you think about when you think about the Anacostia River? And they say, you know, trash, poo-poo, bodies, um, you know, pollution, all that kind of stuff. And, and they say, well, have you guys ever been down here? Um, you know, on the river, like, 
No, 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 it's gross. And it's like, these are kids who live a quarter mile, half mile from the river. This river should be a great resource. We performed another Seki disc test right below outfall number 19, the largest combined sewage outfall into the Anacostia. Water clarity here was the worst yet, measuring with the Seki disc just under 13 inches. Just under 13. So we have 13. This aerial photo shows the confluence of the Anacostia River on the right, the Washington Ship Channel in the middle, and the Potomac River on the left. The stark contrast between water clarity in the Potomac compared to the much darker and murkier Anacostia is clearly visible. Sediment, trash, and other solid pollution that enters the river as stormwater runoff from the surrounding areas are destroying the beauty and enjoyment of this potentially wonderful resource. With sufficient pollution controls, local communities and visitors will be able to swim, fish, and recreate in the Anacostia River. But without the support of the local and federal agencies charged with protecting this river, none of these goals will ever be accomplished. The Anacostia River should once again be the jewel of our nation's capital and a river we are proud to have in our backyard.